Well, this DLC has allowed us to do something pretty crazy. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Today, we bought a Lycan Hypersport. That's right, fellas. $3.4 million later, thanks to all of those treasure chests we've been finding, we can now afford this thing. My goodness, such a beautiful car. Such an insane car. I mean, it's it's got diamonds in its headlights. Like, that's that's how crazy this car is. So, uh, we're going to see what this thing's all about today. I'm excited. We've got a uh, twin-turbo flat-six engine in here. It does, like, around 250 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. But we're going to try to uh, to upgrade that as far as we possibly can. So, let's see. Let's see where the uh, the aftermarket parts can take us. I don't really want the wing on there. I feel like it kind of ruins the look a little bit, but it does add a decent amount of performance. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. I guess we'll roll with it. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to be engine swapping here from the stock to a, a V12. Nah, and we're, we're not going to be taking it to all wheel drive either. All right, looks good to me. So let's go ahead and install this setup. It's going to cost us $56,000, but uh, it's going to get us up over a thousand horsepower. Dude, I, I couldn't even imagine driving something like this. Such a rare car. I believe, wasn't this designed in like Lebanon or something like that? I think it's one of the only, um, one of the only cars out of like, kind of like the Middle East area. One of the only supercars ever designed out of that area of, uh, of the world. So let's, um, let's see what we could do for, for designs and paints. We got to make this thing look a little bit different. Technically, I mean, I, I personally think it looks pretty good stock. But uh, we, we got to see. We're, we're going with the Supreme. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've got a, a chrome gold. The white and black doesn't look bad. Ooh. That's, that's classy. And that fits with, like, I mean, this thing is, like, that oil money, baby. Like, diamonds and gold and stuff like that. I feel like this is a really nice design for it. Hold on a second. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, my goodness, dude. I'm excited. I can't believe we were able to buy this thing. 3.4 milli, dude. That is... That is no joke. Here she is. It's a little bit rainy outside, but check this out. Oh, we've got that chrome gold stripe down the side to match the chrome gold wheels and the little, like, fangs up on the hood. Oh, she looks fantastic, dude. I love it. Let's see what it looks like inside. Looks like we're driving a spaceship. Going into hyperspace or something. Dude, this thing is insane. I'm so excited to see what this is all about. All right, boys. Let's do it. Looks like we've got a uh, brand new Island Lowland Super Sprint race. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. We're going to use our Lycan Hypersport and let's get after it. Dude, that is so beautiful. Are you kidding me right now? And now it's time to see what she's made of. She's a beaut, but can she back it up? We're going to find out here. Dude, look at this class of cars. <laughs> Hennessy Venom GT, Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, a Lambo Benino up there, McLaren P1, Aventador, I think that's a Chiron all the way up front. Dude, this is gonna be wild. More hyper sports. Dude, I'm just I'm gonna race aggressive as we possibly can. We're gonna take every single position that's possibly given to us. Even if we have to do a little, little bit of rubbing. There we go. All right, into fourth place to start things off. We've got two laps. This is a new circuit race we haven't done before. Hopefully it throws some surprises our way. Whoo! When you get on the gas, this thing is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. All right, Goldie and the Chiron, we're going to catch him. You don't really want to break in this thing. You just kind of want to lift. If you lift and coast through the corner and then slam the throttle through the apex, that's kind of where you want to be. I feel like braking is a dangerous game at these speeds. All right. We're going to get beat on the straight for sure. I'm not surprised about that, but we're going to try to catch him through the, the corners coming up next. Okay, we're all right, so dude, it's gonna be a tough one to catch. I was thinking about doing the Chiron in this episode, but we might save that for the next two. We got plenty of money saved up. 
We got some exciting episodes coming up. Ooh, see what I mean? And it's a little bit slick. The brakes are, are questionable. That was dangerous. Dude, I'm trying to catch it. Let's hop inside. Let's see if we can do anything inside. We got him. We got him. Woo! That corner is all we needed, baby. Okay. Coming down here. Woo! We got him! That was dangerous. All right, I'm hopping back outside, dude. This, is, this thing is, is tough. I'm trying to make sure. Okay, you know what? I'm not a baby. I'm going to... I'm gonna stick it out inside. Switching between in and outside is what's eventually gonna mess us up though, so we gotta make sure we we choose one and stick it out. Whew. He's behind us. Dude, he's gonna try to get around his guarantees. But I think we're good, let's go, baby! Oh my goodness. We gotta win in our first race with this thing. That was absolutely terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, but that was sick. That was a lot of fun. That was good work. We've got a super wheel spin for leveling up to level 80. Come on, baby. We just spent 3.4 milli. We're going to need some of that back. Yeah, that didn't help all that much. Moving into race number two. It's nighttime, and we've got the, uh, the northern lights sparkling in our diamonds and our headlights, boys. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, we are getting, we're getting lapped up off the start. Okay. I respect it. I'm about it. I'm ready to fight and take what's ours. Whoo! Into sixth place. Right back at you, boys. Into fifth. All right. Looking good so far. That was a clean pass. I mean, we, we had a little bit of contact, but overall pretty clean. That was not ideal. We just couldn't, we couldn't run the line I wanted to because that Aventador was in the way. All right, here we go. Woo! What's up, bro? Coming sliding on into your DMs. Oh, we're good. I thought we might slide into the wall there. All right, here we go. Dude, this is a tough race. This is another one that's a, a two-lap circuit. This group of car... Oh, dude, the first, the first lap's already down. All right, we got to focus up. This group of cars is just so fast. Like, there's nothing else to say. It's It's... Kind of, kind of hard not to make those little mistakes. You know what I mean? The faster you go, the less room for error you have. Your margin of error dwindles. Woo! Sliding on into that second place, though. Let's go, boys. All right, we're gonna keep this up. Oh, we're hitting the wall. That's a rough one. But yeah, I don't know. I just I feel like everybody's pushing it to the limit in this group, and it's just. It's tough, dude. Whew. Good corner through there. Let's not hit the wall this time. I think we're going to have to settle with the second place, dude. If we had one more lap, I think we could have caught this guy. But I don't think it's going to happen here on the last turn. Alright. Not bad. Dude, this is some of the whitest knuckle racing I've had in this game. Like, this, this is stressful. Whew. We got a second place, though. Which is, uh... Not bad at all. We'll take it. 16,000 credits. Bunch of influence. Unlock the Jaguar XKRS. And uh, we're making our way towards that next, uh... That next treasure chest. We're gonna earn that in the next race, I think. So we're gonna go... I think we have... Do we have any other new races? We don't have any other new races here. Hmm. I guess we can swap it up. I mean, we probably don't want to take this thing out in the dirt, do we? It could be kind of funny, honestly. I, are you guys, do you, you want to put some rally tires on this bad boy and see what we could do? I mean, I'm, I'm not against it. We could probably just keep our racing tires on too. All right, we're, oh wait, you know what? There's, there's one right in front of us. Let's just do this, whatever. I'm down. We're gonna take the Lycan Hypersport off-road. The South Coast Scramble. Here we go. Dude, that roof, is that? I just noticed, it. so obviously it's got kind of like a V shape to it. Is that a, like a moon roof, but in a V? I always thought that was just a decal, like a black decal up top or something, but no, that looks like it's an actual like glass panel. If so, that's insane. 
This is where we're gonna make up most of our room through here. All right, this should be interesting. I'm curious as to how good these other hyper cars are gonna be on this dirt. Hopefully they're not gonna be insane. Hopefully it's gonna be something that we can kind of keep up with. So far seems pretty good. The thing is that it looks like most of this race is gonna be on asphalt, or at least like 50%. So if that's the case, we got this, boys. <laughs> if somebody's ever off-roaded to Shiro like this, like that guy in first place up there, or like an hypersport, probably not. That'd probably be a really bad idea. All right, so we are gonna hammer it all the way through these corners. Ooh, what's up, Mr. Shiro? I'm gonna make sure we break early, dude. I'd I'd rather break early than break late and end up overshooting the corner, you know what I mean? Dude, he is killing it through the dirt, though. That's that's dangerous. That is dangerous. I don't know why we're making it more difficult on ourselves, but we're going to go for it because I ain't scared, baby. Here we go. Really, it's not even that bad except for the fact that I have water all over my windshield. Visibility is not not as good. We're getting some weird glares and reflections off the windshield as well, but Whew, We're good Back out front. Let's get it boys. I mean, I, I just oh gosh I Thought I remembered just straight gunning it all the way through the corner last time, but I guess that wasn't the case All right, we're gonna hop back outside and we're gonna we're gonna see if we can win this thing here about the most perfect setup we could have for that corner accelerated all the way to the very end and that was nice so now all we have to do is just kind of meander our way through here I like to keep the speed up but we don't have to be crazy you know what I mean what is that a ribbon tone behind us definitely gonna have to watch out for him got sheep just vibing in the background dancing together dude he is right on us we got a Benino oh no that's an Aventador just a dirty one there's a Benino back there as well Woo, boys this has been an absolutely insane episode I have thoroughly enjoyed racing in this class this is not the last time we're gonna be racing in this class either you guys know we're gonna check out that Benino we're gonna check out the uh, Whatever else. I don't even know, man. There's quite a few of them in this group that we haven't seen yet, but uh, here we go. Horizon. Want to make a quick million no questions asked? Come on. You know you want to. Next phase of the Fortune Island treasure hunt is a go. Okay. Near the Wisp speed zone is said to be silly, especially when driven in a Jeep named Willy. <laughs> Well, that's easy enough. I Meanwhile, feel like that's pretty simple. If you're one of the select few still racing in the Island Conqueror Round 6, your schedule is now live. Got some new races we could check out in the next episode. Um, where? So obviously it's a speed zone. Are we really about to do this right now? Put a 7.2 liter V8 in a little Willy Jeep? Are you kidding me? Do we do we really want to do this? And we're gonna we're gonna throw in a, a nice we could twin turbo it tur uh, twin turbo it or supercharge it. I'm thinking we supercharge it. This is a serious thing right now. This is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend eighty two thousand dollars. Why not, dude? I mean it's it's gonna be for fun. We might actually be able to use this in some of the off road races we do in the uh, the upcoming episodes. This is gonna be ridiculous. So we spent forty k on the Jeep. What was that, like 80K fixing it up? We now have a $120,000 old school US Army Jeep and uh, we are gonna be heading to the Will-O-Wisp uh, challenge, which is right over here. So let's, uh... <laughs> let's see what this is all about. Oh my goodness, dude. This is almost as ridiculous as the, uh, the Mustang that we made. All right. I it's got too much power to even go in a straight line, man. This is ridiculous. We're gonna head over to the east side of the map. Turn right. 
Come on. And we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a little speed trap to beat, I think. Right. That's what we're looking for. I don't know. I guess we'll find out here pretty soon. But off-roading is a breeze in this bad boy. Dude, this is crazy. Hold on, we gotta we gotta send it a little bit. Recalculating route. In 200 we're good! Turn left. I was worried we were gonna start spinning a little bit more, but no, we're we're fine. We kept that under control. This is uh, this is aggressive off-roading here. I don't think there's any Jeep in the world that has ever seen off-roading like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Dude, this is just a really cool area of the map. I like this a lot. All right, so we're, we're coming in from this direction. 90 is our goal for speed for three stars. How far does this thing go? We're good. We got it. Woo! That is ridiculous. Horizon. If anyone wants some extra hints to prevent a certain driver solving every riddle first, just get in touch. Seriously, I have my phone in my hand. Okay, so this one's on the coastline. It's got to... It's got to be on this side somewhere. It's got to because because you guys can see it's like there's there's nothing in between it. Um, I would I would think it would be like right here, but it's not because that's not in the circle. It's it's got to be right here or right here. Yeah, it's it's got to be right here or maybe over here. So we we've got to head that way. We're gonna be okay. Let's go get it. We got this. It's gonna be right along the coastline. Should be fairly easy to find, I would think. Wow! I was not expecting that. That was ridiculous. That was a much steeper ramp than I was expecting. Yeah, it's gonna be on one of those little like peninsula things because you can't see any other land next to it. It's got like a cove and then it you see land off in the distance. Two wheel in it. Dude, this thing is just too fast. All right, what are we looking at here? So it's gonna be up here. <sighs> Can we rock crawl, our, rock crawl our way back up? Nope, I don't. I don't think so. We're, we're just gonna we're gonna take the dive. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. We beat up our Willie a little bit too hard today, so she's not feeling very well. You have arrived at your destination. Um, It out here. Is that it? I see something. We got some points that we can't even go fast enough to break because our willy's broken. No! Alright, I fixed my willy. We're okay. Pro tip, you can just go to the all right, I fixed my willy, so we could come out here and actually get this thing here. Nice. I didn't know they had influence boards out here on the island. Um, okay. So if it's not there, it's got to be out here. Yep, there it is right there. Found it! Right at the very edge of the map, baby. Another million Fortune credits. Island has its sixth millionaire horizon. Or... Same millionaire six times over. We'll try to make this fairer, I promise. Bro, I'm gonna start a tornado out here. This thing is so ridiculous. No, we're going in the water. There's nothing I can do. All right, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Forza Horizon 4. I certainly did. This thing was a monster. The Lycan Hypersport was a monster. Overall, I just feel like this is a really fun episode. So I'm gonna see you guys in our next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace out.